Hi, I'm Mike Marin, and in this video, we'll talk about producing numeric summaries for both categorical and numerical variables using R. It is often of interest to quantify the center as well as the spread of the distribution of a variable. We will be working with the lung capacity data that was introduced earlier in this series of videos. I've already gone ahead and imported the data into R and attached it. We will summarize the categorical variable smoke and the numeric variable lung capacity. To access the help menu for any of these commands, simply type help and in brackets the name of the command, or throw a question mark in front of the command name. We will begin with the categorical variable smoke. Categorical variables are summarized using a frequency or a proportion. We can use the table command to produce a frequency table for a categorical variable. We can see that there are 725 observations in our sample. To express the table using a proportion, we can divide this table by 725. Earlier in this series of videos, we also learned about the length command. This can be used to let us know how many observations we have for a particular variable. So, we may also produce the table of proportions by dividing our table by the length of the variable smoke, which is 725. Doing this can often be a good practice as it guards against typos and or changes that may be made to the data set, such as removal of certain observations. To produce a two-way table or a contingency table, we may simply enter both variables into this table command. Here we can see the two-way table or contingency table produced for the variables smoke and gender. Now let's move into discussing a numeric variable such as lung capacity. We can calculate the arithmetic mean using the mean command. As well, if we would like to produce a trimmed mean, we can achieve this by using the trim argument. Here we will remove the top 10% and bottom 10% of observations to produce the trimmed mean. We can calculate the median using the median command. To calculate the variance of a variable, we can use the var command. To calculate the standard deviation, we can use the sd command. Or, we can also calculate the standard deviation by taking the square root of the variance. Conversely, we can find the variance by taking the standard deviation and squaring this. We can calculate the minimum observation using the min command. We can find the maximum using the max command. As well, we can calculate the range for the variable using the range command. Specific quantiles or percentiles may be calculated using the quantile command. Here we'll calculate a quantile for lung capacity. The probs argument is where we let R know which specific percentile or quantile we would like calculated. Here we can calculate the 90th percentile. For the probs argument, we may also specify multiple values to obtain multiple percentiles. Let's go ahead and ask for the 20th percentile, the 50th percentile, which is also the median, the 90th percentile, as well as the 100th percentile or maximum value. While often of less interest, one may also sum all of the observed values for a variable using the sum command. While unnecessary to do so, we can also calculate the mean using the sum command. One may calculate Pearson's correlation using the COR command. 
Here we can calculate the correlation between lung capacity and age. It is worth noting that Pearson's correlation is the default for the core command. Instead, if we would like to calculate Spearman's correlation, this can be achieved by using the method argument and setting this equal to Spearman. While often of less interest, the covariance may be calculated using the COV command. Here we can calculate the covariance between lung capacity and age. This may also be calculated using the variance command. It should be mentioned here that the summary command may be used to produce most of these summaries. We can see when asking for summaries of the variable lung cap, R returns to us the minimum, first quartile, median, mean, third quartile, and maximum. The summary command can also be used for categorical variables. Here we are returned the frequency table. The summary command is a generic function that will produce appropriate summaries for all sorts of objects in R. We may even ask R for a summary of the entire data set. Here we can see R returns to us appropriate numerical summaries for all of the variables contained within the object lung cap data. We will see the use of the summary command come up repeatedly in later videos. Thanks for watching this video and make sure to check out my other instructional videos.